Hello, my name's Ian Fairgreave, and welcome to my Spay Casting Masterclass for Game Fisher's Diary. What we'll do over the subsequent series is we'll look at the basic form of spay casting right through to advanced casts. What we intend to do is we hope to make you a more efficient salmon angler and ultimately hopefully catch you more fish. The cast that we're going to cover in this section is the snake crow. Now the snake crow is my all time favourite cast. I think it's a wonderful cast not only to do, but it's a wonderful cast to actually watch being done very well. Very aesthetic and it has a huge amount of function. It is a very energy filled look behind us and it has good presentational qualities. The snake crow is a belter, so let's look at this wonderful cast. Now the snake crow is a momentary contact cast and it belongs to that momentary contact family like the single spay. So basically what happens is we form this wonderful loop here, it touches down in the water and then we apply the power straight away. If we look at this time at the tail of the fly line, as soon as it touches on the water, now forward delivery and you can see a very good turn over the fly line as a result. So before we start the cast, let's look at our stance and grip. We're on the right hand side of the river and the wind is blowing from my left to my right. So I'm going to keep the right hand uppermost and I'm going to put the left hand on the back section of the rod. I have my right foot forward because my right hand's uppermost. We're following that form through the various spay casts and I'm in a position now where I'm pointing towards my target. I'm in a comfortable position here to lift up, looking at the target, form the loop to apply the forward delivery. So we need to look at how to form the spiral. And I've heard it described in many ways, like a elongated E or a nine or whatever the case may be, and they all work well. But what I teach, because I find it's the easiest way for the pupil to interpret the motion, is to think of a circle, a circular motion. And the circular motion starts with the rod tip touching the water, and the circle, three quarters of the circle, turns out into the home bank first. Three quarters of the round, we cut in, we form a loop, and we do the forward delivery. But there's a good point to make there because it isn't quite a complete circle. It's a three quarter circle. When you lift up and you do your spiral three quarters of the way around, you cut in and upwards to the home bank, of course, to form the D loop prior to the forward delivery. What you have to watch out for when the spiral is, you must make that line touch the water. If you preempt the forward delivery, what you're doing is you're loading into fresh air, the loop isn't anchored. So take that moment to just watch the line kiss the water before you apply the forward delivery. And this cast initially is a cast that you tend to feel as if you have to go very fast. You actually lift up, brake, pause slightly, and then do your forward delivery. The tendency is to do the spiral and then continue into the spiral. And you just have to break and take that moment to form that loop behind us. Now the timing will become natural with practice. It's a downstream orientated cast and should really only be performed when the wind is blowing downstream because if this one is performed in an upstream wind, the tendency will be for that fly to come close to your position and potentially for you to actually strike us over the fly. It's a downstream or a neutral wind cast which has a huge amount of application when the wind is blowing like today from our downstream position. Now, what causes a, a little bit of confusion with this cast here is exactly which way do you spiral? Well, we're in a situation here, I'm on the right-hand bank, and I always spiral out into the home bank first to then complete the circle, or three quarters of a circle, into the actual river. So we go out first, cut it in here, touch the line in the water, and cast. So what you're essentially doing 
is whichever way you do it, looking on the right hand bank, you go out to the home bank spiral, bring it into this side. If you're on the left hand bank here, you go out to the home bank and you spiral in this way here. Right hand bank is counterclockwise, left hand bank is clockwise. Great way to remember it. To summarise the snake roll, the snake roll is an excellent cast. It has a huge amount of function to it. The lift up, the sweep, the spiral. It's not only very effective, it's aesthetic. It works very well. It's great for distance. And it is one of these casts here that you can draw upon at any time when you've got a downstream condition. It works equally well off the left hand bank as it does in the right hand bank. And it's time spent learning this cast will result in longer water coverage and actually ultimately possibly more fish. <laughs>